Hello everyone, and welcome to Retail Archaeology. Today we'll be checking out Spirit Halloween. This one is located in a former potato barn furniture store in Gilbert, Arizona. One of my favorite things about Spirit Halloween stores is that they have all of the animatronics set up as demo units, so you just kind of step on the pad there and it'll activate the animatronic and you can get an idea of what it looks like and sounds like. Unfortunately, I can't show you what they sound like though because the store was blaring top 40 pop music all throughout the store and the YouTube copyright bots suck. You'll notice the sign there says 37 days until Halloween. And that's something that kind of surprised me this year. I feel like the spirit stores opened up a lot earlier than they normally do. I had seen some that were open the second week of September. I'm not complaining though, I really do love Halloween and it's not nearly as ridiculous as places like Costco having Christmas crap out in September. Something else I've noticed about Spirit Halloween stores is that it seems like their setups like the animatronics and the displays and everything are getting more and more elaborate every year. This skeleton I think was one of my favorite animatronics just because the movements seemed, you know, kind of lifelike as much as a plastic animatronic can seem lifelike at least. But this is more of the elaborateness I'm talking about. They've got this whole pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern, conveyor belt thing, and that's not even something you can buy. They've now set up things in the displays that are just purely there for entertainment, which I think is a great idea. The last time I filmed a Spirit Halloween store was a few years ago, and it was set up in a former Kmart, and that one was, you know, kind of a mess and not very well put together. It seems like their stores have come a long way in the last few years. Now, this is a fantastic animatronic as well. I love that they've got the saw blade spinning there. And then this guy down here is just kind of horrifying. That was actually one I was tempted to buy. He does not look like he's having a good time. This was one that I couldn't figure out what it was from. I feel like I've seen him in a movie or something. He looks kind of like the little guy from that little Big Planet game series, but that's definitely not what this is. It looks like they have a lot of different licensed sections now, like you can see this is a whole area for Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street costumes and merchandise. And I noticed they've got a lot of Beetlejuice stuff now. I, I love that movie, that's one of my favorite movies. Those masks are pretty great. Here's another one of their little demo areas. And you can see what I mean about becoming more elaborate, they've kind of set up a whole little building here, right? It's all built out of cardboard, but it seems to be holding up. And this dude pissed me off because I was trying to get it to activate so I could show it and it, it wouldn't go. And then the minute I kind of turned my camera, it starts laughing at me and going. So I, I, I feel like he was trolling me. This one's kind of boring though. I'm not big into the whole, I don't find scarecrows scary, really. There were even a couple of monitors set up in the cardboard walls showing kind of a jack-o'-lantern and spirit Halloween production area. Now this is one of my favorites. I remember the first time I saw that a couple of years ago and it, it did catch me off guard. I knew it was going to jump at me but it jumped a lot further than I thought it would. This one wasn't nearly as interesting as I thought it would be. Basically that demon or whatever says he's going to suck the girl's soul out, and then he does, and there's some green lights and things like that, but it doesn't really give the effect I think they're going for. I, I do like the way the girl just kind of slumps over though once it stops running. And, and of course you've got to have the scary clown. I like that this one seems to be made out of like black light active materials. I really do love the way they have these demo units set up though, I think it's a fantastic way to draw people into the store. When my kid was little we used to call the pet store the free zoo as a joke, and I feel like Spirit Halloween is kind of similar, like it's a free haunted house for kids. Oh my god, there's a good guy's Chucky doll there. I don't think that face looks quite right though. Once you get into the back of the store though, it becomes more about costumes and accessories and things like that, and less about the animatronics and Halloween decor. I did notice that most people seem to be shopping for Halloween decor at this point. It might be a little bit too early for costume decisions yet. Posable dummy prop. That was my nickname in high school. 
Something I didn't know before I started working on this video was that Spirit Halloween stores are actually 38 years old. I thought they were more of a 90s thing, but it turns out they were founded in 1983. I also thought that they were always owned by Spencer's Gifts, which is the current owner of Spirit Halloween, but that hasn't always been the case. Spirit Halloween was founded in 1983 by a guy named Joe Marver. He grew it to 60 little pop-up shops before Spencer's bought them in 1999. It seems like the popularity of Halloween and spooky stuff has kind of grown over the last decade, and I think Spirit Halloween stores might be a pretty big influence on that. Here's another one of those movie license sections. This is all Beetlejuice stuff. I got a good kick out of looking at this stuff, but then I kind of started to notice that I think some of this stuff is actually merchandise that shows up at Spencer gift stores in the mall. I know I've seen the shrunken head guys and the sandworms in Spencer gift stores before. It's probably pretty easy for them to move merchandise back and forth between the two store chains. Cheetos costumes. It, if you wear that and don't carry a bag of Cheetos, then you're just a giant orange turd. At least that's what it looks like. It looks like they've got lots of different skeletons for all your skeleton needs. Lots of different sizes. They didn't have the giant one they have at Home Depot, though. But they did have clown skulls. That's new. I haven't seen that before. Getting some twisted metal vibes from this guy. And here we have the Eyes Wide Shut section. At least that's what those masks look like. Apparently they're Venetian, though. I didn't know that was the term for those. Does it ever feel like spirit Halloween stores are everywhere now this time of year? Well, that kind of is true. They've grown to over 11,000 locations in North America. I did not know they had grown that big. Now that's neat. A proton pack from Ghostbusters for a kid's costume. That That's really cool to me because I made one of those out of cardboard boxes and paint when I was a kid. This candy bucket's not nearly big enough. We used to take pillowcases trick-or-treating when we were kids and they were just about full when we were done. Now this might win the award for the cutest piece of decor I saw here. That's Zero, the dog from A Nightmare Before Christmas. And surprisingly, I didn't see a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas merch this year at Spirit Halloween. There's usually a ton. Appliances. That, that's an interesting choice for the name of this section. I never really thought of this stuff as appliances before, but I guess some of it is. I don't know, accessories seems like it would make more sense. Apparently this is the section where you accessorize your look though, the uh, sexy devil costume section. This is also probably stuff they sell at Spencer Gifts year round. See, now I feel like the chop shop section should be bigger than this. At least bigger than the sexy devil costume section. Here's a whole wall of complete costumes. A lot of these are the inflatable ones, like the inflatable alien carrying the dude off there. Of course, you've got the cow and the hot dog. Peanut butter and jelly. I've not seen that before. And There's a squirrel there with a nice set of... I'm not going to go there. I've got multiple colors of the inflatable dinosaur, of course. And Sergeant Short Pants. That was my nickname in high school. Now, here's some more stuff I don't think I've ever noticed at Spirit Halloween before. There are some fantastic company name puns going on here. Camel towing, really? Cougar hunter, that's a little too on the nose. In and out lubrication expert. And more hose plumbing service. Terrific. This is another section that I found particularly interesting. This tarot cards and witchcraft, spell books, things like that. Because this stuff, some of it seems to be taking itself a little bit seriously, and I feel like people who take this stuff seriously wouldn't come to spirit Halloween stores to buy this stuff. It's kind of interesting to see here, though. I wonder if they ever get any of those, like, really extreme religious people in the store that then see this stuff and have their heads explode. I also wonder if anybody comes in here and buys this crap and actually tries to do the stuff in the books. I have to admit, I like the name of that book, Wikipedia. That's fantastic. That, that's a great pun. 
They're nice looking books too, but just totally silly. I'm sure they just get used as props. And that's going to wrap up our look at Spirit Halloween Stores. Do you shop at Spirit Halloween Stores or do you just kind of go to look at all the goofy and silly stuff? I'd love to know it down in the comments below. As always everyone, thanks for watching. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash retailarchaeology to find out how you can help support the channel. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this spooky video on Spirit Halloween Stores. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and also make sure to follow at those social media links down there because that's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the Retail Archaeology channel.